So good evening, everybody. Issue 85. Um, so with me tonight is uh, my new co-host. Well, not new co-host. He's been around for a while. Um, we have Dave Say. Hello. Hello. So are how are you up to? Uh, what have I been up to? Oh, this, that, and, and a lot of the other. So, a lot of the other. That's, that sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So before we progress, we have a, a, a guest with a very special announcement for us tonight. Um, I give you Fleetwood J. Hello, everyone. Just so a how little, are you? Yeah, just a quick little update. Sparkles won't be on screen for a few days, a few weeks. Uh, she's had to have surgery today. She's had to have a lymph noma tumor removed, and there's a strong chance that she might have more um in the future so sparkles will be back soon she misses you all so um thanks for everyone i said um hope she gets better soon so um well i know we all, um, we all think a lot of sparkles yeah um, she is the, the flute with uh, you know, the the mascot if you know what i mean so the master mascot <laughs> yes yeah, she is so. yeah uh, I've got an apology to make, and that's to Chris Davis and to Fleetwood J there. And that's uh, simply because my internet was absolutely ridiculous last night. Um, we lost it, and um, all we could see was, um, all we could see, all we could get rather was uh, text. We could get nothing else. So um, my apologies for that. Sorry about that. And um, hopefully. I, wa I did watch the stream, Chris, this morning and uh, caught up on everything. And I must say, Chris and uh, Fleetwood, you did a marvellous job. Thank you. Yeah, I'll, I'll <laughs> that. I, I haven't had a chance to watch it now. I was going to watch it tonight. Um, but I, I hear you did really, really well, Chris. Um, mm. So it was a hard issue, really, really hard. Yeah. Um, I know that myself. And um, there were a couple of little fiddles we had to do ourselves, wasn't there? Yeah. Uh, so yeah, hats off to you, Chris. Um, but I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Chris, did I say Chris Campling? I meant Chris Davies. I mean, I'm not saying Chris Campling isn't a good builder. He's fantastic as well. Um, Chris Davies is one of those people that you'll look at. I've stopped doing it now, but you'll look at him and you'll think, oh, he won't manage that, and then he'll do it, and he's like really, really good. So yeah, yeah. hats off to him. Yeah. No. Right. So I will talk to Chris Davies. Chris Davies gets the first comment today. Hi, all. So um, we've got World of Mike. Hi, Chris and Penny. Um, we've got World of Mike. Second like from me. Can't wait. Mike loves this show, doesn't he? Yeah. Thank you, Mike. Yes. Uh, <laughs> so Love Mini says, hi, all. P40F20. Roger Kendall. Uh, Michael John Wicks. Peter Whitlock. Um, Chris Campling, Stephen Heisen. Hello, Stephen Heisen. Uh, Chris Campling's got issue four of the X Wing today. If I don't receive 27 of the Terminator, I'll do the X Wing love mon uh, live Monday instead. Good because I missed you Monday, Chris. I really did. Um, Stuart Sullivan says hello. Chris Campling says late again. Uh, Chris Campling, hello. Hi, Dave. Uh, Chris Campling's picked up on the matching shirts. Yeah. Uh, do you know what? You won't believe me when I say this, but this was literally the first t shirt I called out of the wardrobe tonight. <laughs> uh, I don't get one, you know, I? <laughs> <laughs> You're not that one, yeah. Yeah. So, Marty McFly says, Hello, everyone. Uh, Mark Gosborne, evening all. Stuart Sullivan, get well soon, Sparkles. Um, Ian, Ian Martin says, Hi, everyone. Um, Chris Campling says thanks, LOL. Uh, Michael John Wicks, glad Sparkle's operation went well. Fingers crossed she is over the worst now. Best yeah. mascot we could have. Yeah. Michael, uh, hopefully I'll see you on the 20th. It all being well. So I'll meet you in Blackpool and we'll sort something out. So Love Minis says like, share, subscribe. Um, and Chris Campling says Fleetwood needs one. I assume he's talking about t shirts. T shirts, yes. Yeah. So, um, Adrian's not with us today, I don't believe. I think he's gone on holiday, but his, um, what's the word? His mark is 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 upon us with yeah. his beautiful, lovely scans. Yeah. Uh, for which I always appreciate them. 
Yeah. So, um, shall we have a look at this week's build then? Yeah. Right. So, there's the cover. So I tell you what, I, did have a, I had a laugh today because there was two two um, issues in the shop that came in for me, 84 and 86. And the woman in the shop said, well, I, I don't know how you can tell them apart. And I went, well, they're easy. I said, for a start, there's a there's a great big number up there. One says 86, one says 84. And I said, <laughs> at the bottom, I said, one is one colour and one's another. And she just laughed and she went, oh, yeah. <laughs> She's... So that's the cover of 85 that we're doing tonight. And we are going to be doing the interior upper deck walls. Um, and uh, it's, uh, in a similar think, way to the previous issue, we fit I the was inner. Gonna say, if you think this looks very similar, it's because it is very similar, but not oh, right. the same. Yeah. Yeah. Deja vu, isn't it? Deja vu, deja vu. Yeah. So I'll try and get a bit flashy. Um, can you read that okay, Dave or Dave? I can, yeah. yeah. Um, right. You've probably got the issue, haven't you? I've got the issue, yeah. So shall we go through? Oh, God, I forgot to set the camera up. Oops, says Penny. <laughs> right. So um, shall we go through the parts then? Yeah, well, it says interior upper deck walls. In a okay. similar give way, me, give me a moment to figure out what the hell I've done with my knife. Here it is. What have you done with your knife? Here you got it. In a similar way to the previous issue, we fit the inner panels on the right hand side of the upper deck to the floor and secure the seat frames in place. Right. And so the first, list. first thing, be careful with this because these little bits are in loose i nearly sliced one through with a knife but obviously in transit these have um they've come loose yeah no they're, they're not actually attached or anything they're just put in but obviously as the packaging has been shaped uh, shaken around they've gone all over the place right um i've got so you you should have in there you should have 85 a right okay. right right hand oh oh do you know what i'm sorry guys i'm gonna have to take a couple of minutes break i'll tell you why i had all my magazines out and i was having a bit of a sort out the weekend and to save a bit of time i just chucked them all in a magazine rack yeah you're all right and i kind of forgot that i might need issue 87 this week and it's in there somewhere you mean 85 85 yeah i've been in the muddle all day with those haven't i it's because what happened was um w h smith sent me 86 and 84 and i looked at them and i went well i've already had 84 and she said well are you sure and i said well now i'm not so sure and i just i really didn't know so um I ended up saying, look, I'll, I'll pay for 86, but let me wait until tomorrow for 84. And then if I've got another copy at home, I know I don't need it. Yeah. So, and I keep saying, and plus we're a week behind and this isn't looking good. Oh, there we are. 84. Um, no, 85. 85. Yeah, 85, sorry. Eight, we, right, we are doing 85 tonight, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, see, I've just... All these numbers. But it's my own fault because people say, oh, they talk about an issue, but they talk about the parts. And I'm going, oh, well, can you give us the issue number? Because, you know, I, don't, I can't remember which part involved this, that, and the other. Yeah. Um, but I can remember... Yeah, I can find the, the magazine and now I'm doing numbers and I'm in a muddle. So, right. Okay. So, so have you got, are you organized now? Right. So, A is the, I'm so going to call 85 it. A 85A. 85A. Yep. Right front inner side wall of upper deck. Right. I'm going to call this the square one. Yeah. Because as you can see, it's square. It's more square. So, yeah. So wow. as last week, we've got a little bend in it, but I'm not going to be tempted to just try and straighten it. 
No, don't do that. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, we've got nicely painted there and we've got unfinished on the back, but we're not going to see it. Because that's inside, yeah. Right, inside. okay. Well, it's actually inside the panels, isn't it? Yeah, it'll be between the, well, it's between the inner and the outer, isn't it? Yeah. So we've got 85B then, seat fixtures times eight. Right, so that's these pieces. So we're going to screw the seats in with those into the wall. Yeah. I'll say that, all that for fat. Yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So Lovely. just have those little pots so you don't lose them. Okay. And then we've got the 85C, the right back inner side wall of upper deck. And guess what I'm going to call this one? The L-shaped one. Well, I was going to call it a curvy one, but... So, <laughs> last week, except that last week's was that way round, and this week's is this way, I think. Yeah. Something like that, anyway. Do you, have you noticed something about that, though? Do you know what? I think, I think we're on the same wavelength. Is this bit extra? Yes. Because this bit is going to be the where the stairs come up. Exactly, yes. Whereas last week's, this is where the seats are. Yeah. Do you know, I'm, I'm glad I'm, I'm, I'm patting myself on the back now because I, I looked at it and I thought, is that different? I'm not sure. And then you brought it up. So yeah. if anybody doesn't believe me when I say that Dave Say is the knowledgeable one, there's more evidence to back my argument up. Well, I sometimes are. You are. Yeah. <laughs> you are all responsible knowledge. So, so then we've got uh, screws of DP. Right. Because this is an opportunity for me to show off my handiwork. Oh. So organizing my screws. Do you oh. remember I've got these for my um, my normal screws? Yeah. Well, I've now got some little boxes. Wow. And each one has a four-way divider in it. Yeah. And then I just pop the label on the front so you can see what they are. So DP will be plastic screws D and JP will be these ones. No, you've got IP. Let's, so do you know i can't even read properly that does say ip but it's still the same pot so that's right. five. okay so you've got dp of 27 right shall we do it properly today and actually count them if you want to let's let's be shadows and count count our screws you've got rivet counters where screw counters yeah i love that word rivet counter right so actually i'm not going to show those off just yet what i'm going to do is i'm going to get some spare pots and i'm going to put them into the pot so well um two three four Oh. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 6, 27, 28, 29. Have I just hit the jackpot there then? Yeah, because you've got two extra. I think I might have two extra, yeah. So I'll just yeah. put that on there temporarily. I think that would be easier than getting things in a muddle. Right. So. And then you've got IP. IP. Of 11, legs 11. Legs 11. IP. IP freely. Right. 
Oh, I walked to make myself a nice soup the other day. Yeah. Two, three, four, five. So I went to the butchers and I said, um, could I have an oxtail, please? And he says, once upon a time, there was an ox. <laughs> Seven, eight, <laughs> nine, <laughs> terrible, ten. <laughs> <laughs> I like that joke. How many have you got, Penny? I've got 11. I'm not so lucky with the IPs. I'm oh, bang on then. So, I am going to make a debut with my wow stick today. We did, Well, we wow. did use it on Saturday, and I really did like it. Um, so, if anyone hasn't seen wow stick, you'll see it in action today. Um, it's got a very low torque, which means that you can't over-tighten the screws with the plastic. So what I'm going to do is as I screw, obviously these, I've only got plastic screws tonight. Yeah. But I'll screw them in until they tighten naturally with the screwdriver. And then I'll check that they're tight. With the case of metal screws, I'll screw them in with a screwdriver. And then you just finish them off by hand. Yeah. Um, is what we discovered. So, right. So um, okay, let's have so. look at the next stage. So stage okay. one then. There we go. Stage one. So stage one is take the rear inner sidewall, 85C. So that's the rear one, the L-shaped, or the curvy one. The curvy one, with the, with the curvy one with the extra bit. The curvy one with the extra bit. Curvy and one with the bit. Yeah, and identify the inside. The diagram on the left shows the outer side of the wall. Take four of the seat fixings, 85B, and position them on the inside of the, of the wall. <coughs> screw each one in place with two DP screws. The inset below shows the fixtures in place viewed from the inside. All right. Oh, okay. okay. Are you guys quite happy, me, me like not having you on the screen? Yeah. No. Okay, yeah. right can't seem to get the light good today um i'll tell you what i'll do i i always forget to do this you know and i do apologize i'm just going to load up my uh, webcam software and we'll get a better view on that then so just give me a bit of you know what i'm going to turn that off it's it's a little bit dark but it's i think it's actually better yeah so just waiting for this software to load up. Oh, it's loaded up ages ago. There we go. Right. So, yeah, Michael John Wick's um, senior comment about your injections. And uh, my mother oh. goes for oh, no. uh, them injections. I've just dropped, sorry, I've just dropped one of these. But oh, thankfully, no. most, yeah, did you hear the oh no? I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, most of the rubbish on my floor is black, so it did show up quite well. Right, so let's just have a fiddle with this focus. There we go. So I'll focus it around about there. Okay, sorry, I do apologise. Carry on now, Dave. I was just saying about Michael Michael Wicks's um, thing about his injections um, and. How, how he's had them today and they're not bothering him now and he's got to have another four over the next four months good luck with that michael and um, the dunmar mother of power of god she she had them done and um oh. right so what i'm doing with these these don't seem as tight as i remember um so you've got the side that has two holes and a little locating tab, you need that facing towards the piece with the with the tab down. And yeah. just, just pop them in like that. Yeah. And we had trouble last week with them not sitting flush, didn't we? Oh, this one, do you know what? I talked that up. So I'll do the same thing I did last week is I'll try this one in another hole. That struggled to go in. So 
don't force it try it in a different hole rearrange them because sometimes it's the tab sometimes it's the hole right all four of those are in they do seem a little bit loose but actually they're not yeah so they're holding okay okay so um stage two stage are we happy two? With that? you mean stage one we haven't no, screwed them in yet any you, oh, you, know you know what i'm so sorry i thought that was stage do you know what? i'm losing the plot here isn't it <laughs> we'll keep it right don't worry okay, don't worry right so i'm going to be screwing those in with dp screws two screws so, in each one two screws in each one four tabs that makes eight screws yeah all right so make sure you got a suitable drill bit and that's I'm obviously using... dp screws yeah right so i'm using the j1 from the aurea bit and as you can see there that's not magnetized so i've got to go off that way yeah so i've got a little magnetizer with my um with my screwdriver so i will just and uh, look at that wow so be careful to be honest with you you probably want to be putting one in at a time because You've got no control over these while you're holding them. So I'll do this end so that any that fall out will fall out on the table. Yeah. Um, Where's your magnetic pad, Penny? Good point. Good point. <gasps> yeah. Oh, magnetic pad. Yeah. And that, right. So we're getting up. Right. Okay. Let, right. Organize yourself, Penny. <laughs> Get organized. I love this pad we'll keep you right it. don't worry about that this pad oh no i've dropped my screw oh no i've dropped another one that's it that's good because i need one more screw yeah see i spend all this money on junk and i never even use it so like a magic wand right well we'll see in a moment because I've never dealt with screws this small, so we'll find out just how good it is. Except I can't see a damn thing because my eyeglasses are useless. Oh, that's struggling a bit towards the end. But so, isn't that better? It is. So you're not. Oh, uh, you easy. saw how quick it was. Yeah. So, but again, it demonstrates how low torque it is. Look. That's yeah. as much as it will in. Brilliant. And that's that well actually that's tight. Now there is a bit of looseness. So what I'll do is I will finish that off by hand. There's actually quite a lot left over, but it, ah, it got right. the bite of it in. So yeah, I think that's just added a plus point to itself. So you, you not, can't, running, not running the screw straight way through and it's damaging it. No. Yes. I'd rather the torque was too low than too high. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point, is that? I mean, it could be the battery's low. So it might have a little bit more in it. Yeah. Oh, so... Because yours is rechargeable, isn't it, Penny? Yeah. Mine's I certainly not. hope so. Is it yeah. not? No. Oh, you put batteries in, do you? Yeah, I put two AAs okay. in mine. Oh, okay then. See, now I've got to admit, I'm, I think mine's now worth the money because um, I couldn't be doing that. I don't know how much battery life these have got. Um, it did say, but i'm happy with that but this is certainly made life a bit easier anyway yeah um, the only thing i've got i'm going to just try and put them normally i just put them in enough to bite so because it's a lot quicker than doing it by hand you can you can get it to bite more oh there you go that's him so it's i think really it's a case of practicing because you only want to do it for about a second 
if you want to get it in just enough to bite yeah that was all it took so now i'll finish that off that is struggling actually which is actually good but these are self tapping screws so they are going to be higher resistance yeah they're going to get tighter as they're going out there yes but again like i say i'd rather resistance was low too low than too high but it's made short work of those mm. so um yeah so with with regards to putting it in just enough to bite that is going to take a bit of practice yeah um, and the led light comes in pretty so even like well, given that I've just turned, yeah given i've just turned the light out for you it's very handy yeah um, so the only criticism i've got now is it would be nice you know like when you've got a drill with a light yeah if you pull the trigger just ever so slightly you get the light the light comes on before the drill goes round. yeah it would be nice if this did the same or if there was a separate button well probably that wouldn't work but i can't i can't get the light to come on without actually drilling it yeah screwing it so it'd be nice if you could get that light on but you know that's that criticism for criticism's sake yeah james tumperty yes it is an electronic screwdriver they um well mine's a xiaomi wow stick but you can find them on ebay amazon or aliexpress yeah my, mine's the same as fleetwoods but mine's a 64 plus one or something like that and it yeah. just means it's got more accessories so you've got this lovely magnetic pad i've got three bits um and you've also got this lovely base which i really should be using so um right so that is that stage done yeah and uh... I am, I'm, I'm checking the flushness because we we did struggle I'm, you know, I'm going to turn this light on it, it's a case of too bright with it on too dull with it off yeah but yeah i'm, I'm happy enough for those as long as it's you're happy better. that they're in nicely yeah okay so that, so was, uh, that was an issue we had last week wasn't it and yeah. i think really it's the case of you've got to make sure you push them in right i yeah. don't think it's the fact that they don't fit i think you've got to You've got to work just slightly harder getting them in. Yeah. Sorry, quickly, so, Chris Amplin says, does it come with drill bits too? No. I don't think right. it's powerful enough to drill. It's The torque's too low, I think, so it's just best yeah. as a screwdriver. Um, I've, not, I've not charged mine up, so it could well be that the battery's getting a little bit low, um, but I can't see that. And then um, James... James Tubridine has said, uh, Penny, what's the best email to contact you on? Got a quick question uh, the, for the you. Email that you've, the email that you've got, um, which is my personal email I've given you in the past, or the Rootmaster one, um, but don't send me, if it's a personal question, use, use my own email address or contact me on Facebook. Um, if it's a general question, you can always use the Rootmaster email, which I hope is in the description below. Um, let me just double check. Um, but bear in mind that Horlicks can read them too, because we both have access to that email. So I'm just loading up the YouTube just channel now. Check. Whoops. Um, so we've got the email is, is the Rootmaster show at gmail.com that's rootmaster show at gmail.com but then, um, it, uh, uh, facebook is really good as well to be honest with you facebook messenger is just as good for email for short messages i think yeah it is yeah and then we've got matthew barham in there uh evening matthew no you're not too late we've only just uh, started on one of the sounds now, and we're just happy to have you. Doesn't matter when you come, as long as you come. Well, how there's a song like that, doesn't matter how you come, just as long as you get there. Yeah, something like that. Uh, yeah. 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 Okay. So on that subject, should we go on to stage two? Stage two. 
<laughs> so, there's <laughs> in the same <laughs> Compose yourself. <laughs> I'm composed. Right. Stage two. In the same way, take the front section of the inner wall 85A, fix four seat fixtures 85B to the inside of the wall panel using two DP screws for each fixture. The inset below shows the four seat fixtures in place. Right. Okay. Okay, so first thing I'm going to say is I don't know how you screw your screws in anyway, but don't do it flat on the table. Some people might put it on the table and screw in. Because of this little kink, if you're leaning there and screwing that in, you could bend that bit there. So the last one I did, I was actually holding it like this, and that's probably yeah. going to be the best way to do at least this side. Yeah. So just that, be a bit careful. And that pink in the side, uh, Penny, is natural. That's how that yes. should be. <laughs> yes. You're never going to let me live that one down, are you? No. no. <laughs> so, if there is anybody watching this week that wasn't like watching last week. When we got this bit, I looked at that and I went, yeah, that's got a bend in it. Oh, never mind. I'll see if I can straighten it. And Dave had to jump in and go, no, it's meant to be like that. And, <laughs> and we, I will explain that later. Um, so I'm going to go the way that I think we should go, which is I'm just going to put one in at a time. Um, because obviously yeah. th these are in really well, to be honest with you. Then they're probably not going to come out. But do we need to take that risk? Yeah. Ma so, Mark, uh, Mark Osborne, hello. Um, yes, I did uh, look at the history of the bus I was building. Thank you ever so much. Uh, very much appreciated. Thank you, Mark. Now, I did genuinely drop a screw there and it just got caught on there. So thank you for whoever reminded me to do that. That was me. <laughs> thank you, Fleetwood. So I might have lost one of my trillions of spare screws had it not been for you. Okay, so first one in, just enough to bite. Oh, that's nice. Now I've got the hang, starting to get the hang of this now. So just while you're doing that, I'm just going to load the fire up so we don't get cold. Back in a second. No problems. Can't have you being cold, Dave. Mm. I've got a bit of a surprise for us when it comes on the Fiat show, Penny. All right yeah have you thought about dates for that the 20th i've got it set up haven't i 20th of october Sunday right. saying now yes and then the following sunday the 27th is the Renault um issue so then i'll have to try and do a poll on who wants to do what when either the fear or the Renault. so oh the Renault, yeah Okay, well, I'm afraid I shall be watching in the background with the Renault because even if it's available here, it's, uh, you, you know, you, I, I, I love most of the builds, but I just, you you got you to gotta sort of find a point where you go, I can't really afford that. Yeah, and that's why it's going to come down to the Renault or the Fiat because the Renault came out yeah. first and then the Fiat I, came I, out. I, I should really have given the Fiat a miss because that's on model space, so that will be available whenever. But how can you say no to the Fiat? No. So I struggled to get that last piece in there, so all I did was I just changed changed it and put a different one in. Yeah. And then I'll try that in another hole. So, I'm back. I've got hello, back. I've got a friend of mine in America. He's actually made me a little little tiny one eight scale ignition key and key ring for the fiat all right yeah so you do know i'm going to be on eBay now looking for fiat 126 accessories don't you i found a gas have you... caravan have you really yeah what, so, the correct scan you... sorry what the correct scan and everything yeah one eight scale yeah gas bottle yeah you, right, I'm going to show you this. Right, 
that is finishing yeah. off the screw manually yeah but is persevering and letting the screw go as much as the screwdriver will go as much as it can all oh, right but hmm. the torque was so high it actually went really slowly i'll see if i can do it again i don't know if that was just went in a bit easier but it seemed a bit of a struggle on the screwdriver you yeah. know this one's not in either or is it yeah right with these parts you can't put them in at an angle they have to go in exactly 90 degrees and then they fit really well right so screw yes mark osborne they do sound like a hairdryer <laughs> the one two six yeah uh, they do oh they're lovely cars though yeah it'll probably be more likely i'll continue the fiat rather than the renault because obviously my partner sean she's got a, the modern fiat 500 so i think it'll go quite well this is uh saturday night isn't it yeah uh no this is going to be sunday sunday the 20th dave oh yeah sunday the 20th sorry i'm a bit confused yeah. over dates oh yeah best way to to avoid confusion over dates don't you yeah, so just like, just like share and subscribe yeah. all of our channels and make sure you hit, hit the bell notification yeah and get the notifications come up when we're going to go live yeah how was that for a plug-in yeah brilliant <laughs> right. that one i think i think i just want to just give that a little bit of a turn so we must be doing the tractor show this sunday i oh, must be doing the tractor show this sunday yeah i can't wait yeah I really i enjoyed that show one so much more than i thought i would i mean i thought i was going to really enjoy it but yeah. i really really enjoyed it and um i'm taking an, do you know what i because i've been printing parts off for adrian and fleetwood yeah um, they've sent me some filament sort of um sure and I've been, <laughs> yeah well i say sort of because um yeah but I, I mean, Adrian, I think Adrian's got addicted because he sent me um, this black and the silver. And the very next day, i.e. today, I've got another parcel of three rolls of filament. Oh, right. right. So he's obviously got, he's like, yeah, I'll get two filaments. And I said, yeah, that's, that's fine to start you off. And then he's obviously gone, no, 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 I want more. I want more, right? Three so uh, un unexpected parcel today in my um outhouse um a little email from dpd saying you've got some more filament and i'm like probably <laughs> so, um, yeah he's obviously got hooked but i'm actually really enjoying printing them so um I've, I've, I've just i've had my 3d printers on the go non-stop and it's like come on, will they fail or will they succeed who knows yeah right so that is my stage two right jolly good making sure they're all in nicely that one looks a little bit actually i think that's okay yeah i'd say that's perfect excellent so i'll just screw that one in a little bit more it's just it was just poking out a little bit too much for me just to give so, it a bit more right. do you want do you want to look at the chat a bit now before i move on to stage three Good on, yeah, because everyone's been at it haven't they mm, yeah so, right just got home been feeling all right where, where, where were we last oh i don't know okay right okay so uh, I'm good, thanks. Like, so we've got Love Minis, like, share, subscribe. Chris Campling, John Wick, John Mike, Michael John Wicks. Looking forward to hopefully meet up at Fleetwood and yeah. definitely coming to Blackpool on the 20th. Um, Mark Osborne, Army Dining Hall springs to mind. 
Michael John Wicks, eagle eyed there. Quick, quick view of the mess there, Penny. So, uh, yeah, thanks for noticing the mess. <laughs> uh, Mark, Mark Garsborn, surprised Penny can find anything. Oh, I, I'm, I'm good at finding things. I just know it's in that pile somewhere. It's an organized mess, Penny. Pardon? It's an organized mess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, Michael John Wicks, nice curves, Penny. Obviously talking about the bus, not about me. Uh, <laughs> So, yeah, Michael John Wicks, I'm great now that I've had my injection in my eye. World of Mike is admiring my box sorter. Um, yeah, was, that was fun to print. Um, love minis, that's great. Um, so, Mark Osborne had trouble with new buses, the panels are glued on. Oh, God, no oh. rivets there. Oh, so poor old Mark Osborne, no rivet counting for you. Oh, dear. So Michael John Wick's not looking forward to the injection going in my eye. Um, but now that I've had it done, it does not bother me now. Got to have another four done over the next four months. I suppose they'll get easier, will they? Um, fight a sweep. Mine was different. I had to have a shard of musty, rusty metal removed from my eye. Oh, God. Oh, no. No, you're putting me off. Um, Ian Watson went to the news agents for part 25 and T um michael john wick says i get worse um stuart sullivan says anyone else got a wow stick um give it time stuart remember there was a couple of us had the aurea and now everybody has the aurea so give it a couple of months i think we'll all have electronic screwdrivers um yeah fighter sweep said that should have been rusty yeah um ian bedson yeah, I picked up 86 today. Um, I also had 84, which confused me, but now I know it was a duplicate issue. Um, Levi Otter says, hope you're all doing well. Um, I hope you all uh, trust your eyesight is okay now after that fight sweep. Um, so, yeah, Fleetwood says, uh, yes, I have the base wow stick. Just ordered what Penny has. Amazing. Um, so... Yeah, do you know, I think mine was um, £26. I'm doing that from memory. It was about £30. Um, there you go. Fleetwood says that his was, he paid 16 Pennies is around about 30 um, Are you are you totally happy with yours, Fleetwood? I mean, mine's only the base one. I'm, 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 I'm yeah. blown away by it because it, it helps me because of my arthritis and my fibromyalgia. Yeah. So, yes, you know. I mean, I have not used any of the drill bit, uh, any of the screwdriver bits yet, because I know which bits I've got so used to picking up. You kind of get to the point where you just go, you look at a screw and you go, oh, I want that, that bit. And that's the one that you um, you go yeah. for. So yeah. I'm still using the Aurea bits. Uh, that's the Aurea bits. And um, these are the wow, the wow stick bits. Um, I do like, I, I love the way they're arranged and they're there for me if I ever need them, but I'm not getting rid of the Aurea bits. Um, so, uh, yeah. So it was a bit daunting at first. Um, I'm going to ignore all the comments about injections and eyes. It's making me queasy. <laughs> yeah. A bit daunting at first, but glad I had it. Like a magic wand, that stick penny. Um, so James Tuberty, hi guys, late as usual. That's fine. We get used to you being late, James. And um, what we do now is we have all the good stuff at the beginning, and then we've run out of good stuff when you arrive. Only kidding. Um, <laughs> so Stuart Sullivan says, "Oh, James, not again." Um, <laughs> well, Chris Campling has had an ulcer in his eye, and we skip to the next one. Um, so James Tuberty thought it'd been been fairly. I guess that's fairly tight on time, is it? Um, Chris Camping resistance is futile. Uh, yeah, that's a really good statement there, Michael. We take we seem to take our eyes for granted until something goes wrong. Yeah. Um, so, uh, Chris Camping, does it come with drill bits too? Yes, it well. I think you answered that, didn't you, Fleetwood? Yeah. Yours did it, yeah. yours did or it didn't? Basic, no, mine didn't, no, right? Did it not come with any at all? It comes with screwdriver bits, but not drill pieces. I think it's right. good. Oh, of course. Nice yeah. yeah, do you know, I misread that because I took my eyes for granted, you see, and I didn't read it properly. 
Yeah. Um, so, Penny wants to persuade Eden and all hope. That Matthew Borum. Hello, Matthew Borum. Um, yeah, well, you're never too late. Chris Camping, Mark Osborne. I'm going to have a little look at that because I like the look of your avatar. Is that? Oh, that's a lovely sky, isn't it? It's lovely, yeah. Um, Michael Borum has two issues of Terminator and two issues of Bismarck, unable to do anything with them. Is that because you haven't got previous issues? Um, Michael John Wick says, wait for the innuendos. Uh, Matthew Bourne, thank you, Penny, for the uh, acceptance. Absolutely no problems. Facebook to me is about um, networking, uh, linking up with people with common interests. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm not a friend collector. I don't care that other people have got more friends than me, but, um, you know, I won't just accept anybody. But if there is a link, not, not a problem. And I've got friends on my Facebook that will haven't contacted me in absolutely ages. And then all of a sudden they'll go, well, can you help me, Penny? Yeah, not a problem. Um, so if anyone is doing a bit more accurate build the seat brackets, uh, oh, anyone's doing a bit more accurate build, the seat brackets are gloss, black, dark, red. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So that's something that I, I well, I, this particular one, I'll, I'm, I always said I'll do it as per the magazine with a couple of, couple of, um, Tweaks. Yeah, a couple of tweaks. Um, so um, Stuart Sullivan says, "Oh, open fire! Day. Beautiful, Dave." Um, it's a Chanwood multi fuel burner. <laughs> Is that multi fuel? As in, you can put in anything that burns, or do you still have to put specific things in? Wood, cork, or coal. Okay, so you can't just put your newspapers or something in. Well, you can. Or your, your next door neighbor's cat or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> just, just just checking, you know, asking for a friend. Um, Other cats Chris are Campbell. available, by the way, you know. Yes. Just in case. Uh, so Chris Campling says mine and Cheryl's thoughts are with Alex. Yeah. Um sure. yeah, um, for those that don't know, Alex lost his partner uh recently. He had the funeral the other day um so you know i'm giving him all the time he needs to to sort himself out um and i you know no one can really say how long it's going to take grief grief is a funny old thing isn't it yeah um, you can be in a couple of days it might take you months yeah uh, so you know we're, we're all here for for him yeah um so fighters i keep thinking about going for that vw convertible from model space um one i thing, like that yeah one thing i've I heard is the convertible roof is very very tricky fiddly and don't always work properly yeah and i don't like the price is that's one of the ones that like 80 quid a month isn't it for a year i think so yeah mm. so stuart sullivan says hello horlicks if you're watching uh, Mark Osborne had a real Fiat 126 hairdryer. Um, so, Mark Osborne, I was at college and the most lads we managed to get in was eight. Yeah, because it's always a nice, nice challenge to get many people in, isn't it? Uh, Penny, guys, is the torn quite strong? Talk. Um, it's okay. Um, I'll do, I know we're totally going off track here, uh, but I'll do you a quick demo of the talk um so this is a screw with a wing nut in it and if i tighten that up fully you can see that, that is tight that's definitely in there if you then finish it off with your hand it takes about a quarter of a screw to go completely full and now the torque is so great that you the screwdriver won't handle it yeah. so you just give it about an eighth of a turn just to unlock it and then you can see the screwdriver handles it perfectly and that's really nice i would say that's just right so in it goes that's probably enough for a plastic screw and then we just finish it off if it's a metal screw and in fact actually the bit i did on saturday as well if you tighten it up you see there that i can i can unscrew that by hand on the other side if i tighten it up just as far as it will go I, I can't move that so it is in quite quite tight 
but with a metal screw you can just go a little bit more if you want only about probably not even an eighth of a turn um matthew Bourne seemed to have missed terminator issue 31 but it's on order awaiting delivery uh, mark osborne best thing was a starter switch lever on the floor which pulled along a big old set of contacts together to start it sounds yeah. interesting yeah um, yeah because you don't actually have a key to start well you turn the key for the ignition then there's two levers down by the handbrake one's for the choke and one's to start the car yeah so two people are fighting each other to become my favorite viewers now we've got p40f20 a messy desk is a sign of a keen mind yeah. and Stuart Sullivan says yes a mess a mess is a sign of intelligence apparently not so keen on the apparently at the end but I, I like <laughs> the sentiment of the day, yes. um Matthew Baum has got x-wing issue four I saw that in the shops um Mark Ar ah Mark Osborne sunset over the Isle of Man from West Cumbria that's that's your your um avatar um so sorry go on i was gonna say no, go on. Osborne, my part of the world uh obviously because you're cumbria i'm obviously lancashire not far from each other so uh <laughs> i see the sunsets as well they are beautiful our part of the world so good picture yeah. uh ian martin says great build once again but hold on we've not finished yet we're just doing a, a chat catch up um and then uh ian Bourne, matthew Bourne can't seem to find root master issue 11 on ebay um although the next ones he needs a seven eight nine ten um can i be honest with you i am seriously considering stopping the subscription copies of of uh, root master i'll go in i'll go into it more um but it's mainly because um i was going to be doing uh, a newport transport uh a what if um but i'm leaving i might be leave i should be leaving so i'm wondering if it's still if a if i'm gonna have time and b if it's still worth the project so i've got every issue on subscription up to 86 so um i might i might strike a deal with you if you cut your losses on issues one to six i might be able to let you have the lot but I'll talk about it. I, I'm not going to make any promises. Uh, I'm not giving up the build. Um, Chris Davies back on the phone and Stuart Sullivan says, beautiful picture, Isle of Man. So shall we carry on building? Yeah. Right. I'm going to nip off quickly and I'll see yeah. you all next week. I'll see you on yeah. Saturday, whatever day. I'm not where I'm back. <laughs> i really do appreciate it and thanks for the update that's all right take care everybody i'll see you soon good night all right take you now bye okay oh, i got more screen now oh. Oh, more no. screen so right, right. right. so number stage. Uh, stage three yes are you ready yes i'm ready Okay, so take the upper deck assembly from 84, position the front inner wall 85A against the right side of the deck. The screw holes and the tabs on the base of part 85C align with screw sockets at the edge of the floor, part 72A and 73A at the front. The two screw holes align with holes in the lower part of the front of the bus, part 79G, on the inside of the screw sockets at the ends of the seats will align with the seat fixtures 85B fitted in step two, fixed in place with six IP screws okay so as you were talking i'm trying to get a comfortable position on the desk but failing miserably so right this is the front bit of my bus if you so, want to go full screen you can with that do you mind no i don't mind i don't want to cut you out but obviously 
it will help. So yeah. we've got um, the two front wall there and yeah. one, two, three, four there. Yeah. So in theory, if I line this up like that, gosh, would you yeah. believe it? It's perfectly. And right, to recap about this bend there. Yeah. Fits perfectly with this little bend there yeah that is so don't don't do what i did last week and try to straighten it no so i think what i will do this week is i will put one screw in there and then i'll work from the front back yeah that's a good if idea I, if I, if I work at the front then obviously all of this can still flap yeah so that'll just secure that down so uh ip screws um you have to forgive me my little mat is over there so and these are quite big screws one two three four five six so one ip screw is going to go into oh look at that straight in there i've only put that in enough to bite but actually i might just leave that like that that's it's not in all the way it's just enough to bite yeah jolly so, good then i'll line right okay so what looks like it's going to happen here is if you keep an eye on this tab there you see that's beautifully lined up at the moment yeah if i line this up it brings this out now one yeah. of the issues that i've got is that my my cogs aren't working, but I, I've got the theory that if I just push it down a little bit, it might catch. You can see, once I get the two screws in there, yeah, and then put down, I think that will pull that in. Yeah, so it will. I'll put, I'll put this one in first to get it connected to the front. And this yeah. is making me so much happier because I am worrying about that front once this is in that front's going nowhere just while you're doing that i'm just gonna have a, wet, a quick word with chris davis chris davis i don't know whether he was about when i was uh, apologizing for last night but i had um serious internet problems last night and it was down to a cabin up the road and uh, we couldn't get any internet uh, per se we could only get uh, text we could not get any um pictures or anything so Anyway, they've thankfully sorted it, and I've been watching your stream this morning, and um, you did a marvellous job. You really did do a marvellous job with Fleetwood J there. So he's also said, Penny, that he's got a problem part on his bus uh, issues. So he probably wants to talk to you about that. No worries. I, I, I am long, long overdue a visit to him anyway. Right. So I've done these trues while I was waiting. I deliberately left this one um, because it might look slightly confusing. Um, it's actually this one there. Don't be tempted to pop it in there. It looks like there's going to be a tab going in there. Yeah. So I think these two here, when you put an outer panel on, they'll they'll be locating pegs that will go into there. Yeah. And then I'm they'll sure. screw it wherever. Yeah. So, and these are actually uh the wire stick's not really going to cope with it um because these are such big threads with quite a, quite a large bite on them yeah that that's gone in quite well actually so i will finish that off and then i'll finish this one off and it's really a case of do it yeah see that one's not biting too well yeah so that that's that's actually a good thing that's not a criticism um because you don't want to over tighten me you, these need to be in enough to hold it do you know what i'm going to be honest this isn't this isn't me saying that the electric screwdriver is crap it's me saying it's probably gonna be better with the aurea um this is a very good screwdriver with a lot of control which is why i'm switching over to the aurea so finished that off there so now that side that side is now locked in with the front that's yeah. not going anywhere and again usual rules apply you 
screw into plastic until the resistance increases and then you stop and then you check and then you have to decide if you're going to put any more um any more screw on and i think they're actually enough um, yeah 99 of the time once it gets stiffer it's that is that that's enough <laughs> so, sorry did i just make an innuendo there you did yeah okay right i'm just i'm trying to get good camera angles here but it's it's difficult so and this is really nice because you've got that metal support so you can press don't press too hard that you're going to go do you know what that's over got that's that's threaded i think that has threaded oh no that's right it's still got got another i i just seem to get the odd one that threads like that yeah maybe i mean you know no i don't think i've gone in too hard because that is definitely got a stop to it that's really really hard to go any further than that yeah it's good to uh, there is too much light bouncing off there so it's a shame because it is rather dark now yeah it's that it looks lighter on screen than it actually is yeah that's definitely over talked so right oh, so that i'm happy with so, so it looks like it's um... So that's what it now looks like from the front. Wow. So can you see that actual curve? Yeah. So that Dave is so kindly gone on about. Now, these don't match, but I think they will. They will uh, eventually. Right. Now, what I've done here, catch it early. And so I'm just trying to find a good. Right. If you see here. The front actually lips over the side yeah but on this side i've not got it in properly so right. i'll just pull that up a little bit there we go yeah and that's lovely and that whole thing just seems to sit a bit better yeah so that's what it looks like from the top so what i'm gonna do as Super. i say not part of this week's build but i'll just give that a try yeah that's still not connecting there look no so kevin kilford did actually make a post about this yeah there you go. just need, do you know what i'm actually quietly confident about this that doesn't need an awful lot i just literally touch that wall and then that starts to work fine so i wonder if the roof will push it down however if you have the same problem as that i have a solution i think um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to measure that, and I'm going to make a little 3D printed black ring, probably about a millimeter thick, maybe two, and then I'll take that off, and I'll put the ring in, and then I'll put the cog back on and screw it, and it should lift that cog just a little bit. Yeah. So, I don't know if you can see there. It's black. Oh, hang on. Let's get the wave stick out. yeah so you can see there doesn't need lifting much not what a lot a little or two yeah you probably want lifting about the width of that so probably i'll take a measure of that yeah now the drawback with this mod is that the screw that's holding this cog in may need to be longer yeah so we ne we may need to obtain a new screw so that means I'll need to go back through the through the magazines, <coughs> find out exactly the, the, what that screw is, and try and source one that's a little bit longer. Okay. Um, but I can't see that being a major problem. They someone must sell those screws. I, I've come to the conclusion that um, obviously these these parts are specially made, but all of the electronics and the wires and everything they're all they're all off the shelf parts, aren't they? yeah well so Francis Wait made a comment in the in the comments about i made the holes that the front wall fits in to uh, a bit bigger um with a drill as man wouldn't fit yeah there we are 
wouldn't fit as the lugs were uh, too big. The wall fitted perfectly after that and the cogs engaged no problem. Okay, so you've kind of, you fixed the same problem, but you've come in round the back rather than the front or, or I've come in round the back and you've gone in through the front. So it's, you know, it, it's rather than five plus five, you've gone 10 minus five. And yeah. You both got them. So um, having said that, um, don't know if my idea will work. So, um, but yeah, I mean, I might chat to you about that fight sweep and then we'll, or if you could perhaps talk about it in the Facebook group. And then uh, if I, if I come up with my solution and you come up with yours, it then gets, it gives people a choice then, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Yeah. So, yeah. Brilliant. So, um, are you happy with that stage? I'm ecstatic with that stage. Yeah, it's brilliant. That's good. I like ecstatic. Yeah. So, uh, let's progress to stage four what comes to three four four right so we know what's going to happen now we're going to fit fit the rear wall panel 85c in place note that at the front edge there are recesses that interlock the tabs on part 85a circled in light blue the screw holes in the tabs at the base of part 85C align with the screw sockets on the at the edge of the floor, part 71A and 72A. Fix part 85C in place with three IP screws. Lovely. Oh. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Oh. No, you can go full screen again if you want. Yeah, I'm trying to find my cursor. There we go. I've now got so much set on this desk that it's... Uh, oh, yeah, I do need to go full screen, don't I? Yeah. Where's... where's... Here we I move that full screen? Right. So, basically, what we've got... Right, we have, we have a... This is... Um, what do you call it? It's got a little recess around the outside. Yeah. Now, what noticed is that last week we tucked that one underneath and it yeah. went in but this is actually the opposite this one just lays on top so yeah. if we'd have done the back first we'd have had to we'd have had to tuck it in like that yeah but this one lays on top now first thing i noticed with mine is if you line up these three tabs there i've got a slight this isn't lining up there yeah so i what I'll do is I will put the first screw in there and then I will pop my finger in to the bottom of the floor. I'll then push that floor down and then line that up. But I think actually that will probably pull that into place anyway. But yeah. that's something yeah. I'm keeping an eye on. So I will definitely do that one first. And these are three, three IP screws we need. Three IP screws, yeah. Right, so one, two, three, and two spare in the box. So, so get the wow stick out. Oh, that's demagnetized. Oh, that's a bit strange, isn't it? Yeah, I think. I, I think it demagnetizes when you take it out of the um, out of the thing. So it's not a problem because it comes with a magnetizer. Yeah. Now the magnetizing is, is stronger than the actual magnet pad. That's quite interesting. Right, so this one, little bit of manipulation. It's It wants to go slightly to one side yeah right you know i'm gonna forget that just for this stage maybe it's not a good one for this build maybe right a couple of slips there right so i have deliberately done this screw all the way in that is on purpose norm normally i put them in just enough to bite and thankfully that has bitten that hasn't over threaded 
yeah so what i'll do now is this middle one i will put that one in but just enough to bite yeah and then i can make sure my floor's in place which in actual fact it has pulled that in i'm actually happy with that so i'll just check on the inside and do you know what? i don't think you can notice that so that's fine so in actual fact panic over I, w I was getting ready for something bad to happen that never actually happened so what i'll do now then is i'll put the last screw in just enough to bite and then we can check it's all lined up yeah so checking checking the fit around here that is absolutely perfect can't fault that at all can you brilliant so i'll just carry on screw oops sorry that was catching on the box right so I've, oops so i'll finish screwing these don't push too hard that way because you will wreck that wall but i'm kind of pushing down onto the metal frame yeah yeah that i'm glad that one's gone in fine because i need two good connections at least you've only got three on this one we've got we got four screws on along the side of the front bit and they're all yeah. three of those got in absolutely fine yeah right so we've got a little bit of a gap there but like the bottom deck we're not worrying about that no because that will, obviously once these all get screwed into something you can yeah. see it's going to sort itself out so don't yeah. don't pack that at all not yet anyway not yet so that is what the top deck looks like ish obviously we haven't put these the, yeah we haven't put these these seats yeah, the seats yet. Yet. i couldn't uh, you know, i couldn't actually tell which which side was which for a moment right so that is stage four complete yeah happy ecstatic yeah. Static, yeah. I do like that. That little silver bit across there just looked wonderful. Yeah. Sorry, some sometimes it's the well it is the little details, isn't it, that makes or breaks a model. Yeah. And I think they've got the small detail spot on here. Yeah, absolutely. Enough. I know there's people out there that can criticize it. Um right, so stage five. Stage five um starting with the rear seat align the screw hole in the tab uh, on the back of the seat frame 65b with the seat fixture 85b fix in place with a dp screw repeat along the next four seats to hold the right seat frames 65a times two and 66b in place and then it says as in the inset and it says in the round red circle it says when fitting the screws you may find it easier to use a fine file to enlarge the hole in the seat bracket slightly this will clear away any remaining plastic from the manufacturing process yeah no that's the bit i actually forgot um i last week i had a few that needed just a little touch of filing but if i just move my camera right so this is the way i'm looking at it so you can see there if i need to file that i'm going to stick the file in that way yeah but it's so close to that outside wall yeah that i can't run the risk of scratching that wall so i think it would and i did think about this last week um it's probably better just to chuck a little file in there before you put that wall on and uh, don't forget that not... the, the screws are actually going in the bottom holes there's only one yeah. screw in each seat only the one not the two only one yeah so i might struggle with this but i'll see how i get on um as you know i'm not a fan of shunting this forward um it does work well when you shunt it forward but 
the longer the screwdriver, the less control you have there. Yeah. So I do like to use my screwdriver like that. But, and also, it will fit inside the, the, the bus. Yeah. So you don't need to start poking through windows. Obviously, if you shunt it back, you'll have to come in through the window, which yeah. actually may help because then you can lean on. Do you know what? Actually, should we try both? So I could actually lean this on the side and then screw it in like that. It so let, let's, do, let's do the first, let's do the first one. Then the second one, we'll, we'll do it like that. And the third one, we'll shunt it back. And yeah. then I can give my own opinions on, on how it goes. On this, which first one, this first one should be easy because the first one, you tend to have more, more spare room. Yeah. so this is really really hard to do on camera um but especially as i've got limited desk space we need as you probably remember we've got a couple of tabs on the seat and they will line up with a couple of tabs on on the wall yeah now you can't see this you've got to do it by feel um, you kind of keep wiggling the seat until they they find those holes. And I yeah. think that in there. So you kind of need to. Right, hang on. Right, yeah. So what you what you need to do is the bottom hole on the seat. You need to line that up with the hole that's now on the wall. Yeah. And bring it. And that doesn't look like it's lining up. it's not right so maybe i ah there we go and i think what will happen is once you've got that hole lined up there it will bring those two in but do you know what i think shunting might be the way forward here so well stuart stuart sullivan said um he used the aria screwdriver to attach the side uh but scratch the back of the seat due to the collar on the screwdriver itself right so what we really need then is a long thin screwdriver well i i for the bottom deck i used the um hashet one that came with the book yeah i remember you saying that this is really really hard actually do you know what i just had another idea Right. It's me all your screws right like there. So. Flexible Don't drive. Have... Wow stick for the win. Wow. Right, that's not putting it in fully, but it is putting it in enough to finish it off. It, it's it's holding the screwdriver and the, the screw and positioning it. Yeah. If you can just get it in enough to bite, you can then finish it off with the oil. That's how I'm going to do it. Right. Because um, now, actually... I will shunt it forwards because then I can rest once I get that screw in that the end of the screwdriver in if, as long as I'm pushing fairly hard it's not going to jump out of that screw hole and that is still that's not not easy really is not easy um, having said that, you could probably cope just as well with the wobbly end. Right, that I'm happy with. Jolly good. So I, I suppose you could cope with this bit as well. Yeah. Um, so let's try the next one just with the Aurea. Because then it sort of benefits those that haven't got the wow tip. Yeah. So you've got kind of you really do need 15 hands for this 
so i've got i've got the the screw in the screwdriver bit line that hole up and then that's going in there like that and then this is where we discover that nope that hole is big enough right so that screw is in there enough just to bite so we wiggle oh there we go I don't know if you heard that click yeah i just wiggle it side to side and it will just fall into place and then where are we and then we can finish screw, screwing it so find the hole and then hold it from behind from underneath and just finish screwing that off until it goes tighter which is there yeah just pull that away from the wall a little bit just check it's tight right so i will concede in this particular instance the aurea screw uh, screwdriver shunted is probably the best way to do it um so that's not a very good um it's not a very good um advert for the, for the wow stick but there we go i'm trying i'm trying to say this is a brilliant screwdriver and it's not it's not the most i won't say it's a bad screwdriver it's not the best one for this particular job right so should okay we try, should we try and repeat that process yeah you can do yeah um oh. Fleet, fleetwood jay says uh, maybe seats off one side yeah i did like the seats off if you if i hadn't already built the seats i would have attached them to the wall first um because there is plenty of room underneath to screw them in from the bottom um possibly yeah there is yeah there's enough room underneath so if you haven't put the seats in the floor consider waiting until this part and then screw the screw screw the seats into the wall and then as you bring the wall on then screw the seats in um that's that's a good idea okay would you get them in with the frame underneath still do you think i think we would yes, wouldn't we? Yes. definitely um yeah. let me just change cameras to busy cam and then i can show you so busy cam moving now so oh just knocked the deck over right so that's that's the underneath and you can see all oh hang on no now there's one that won't go uh, and that's un there ah uh, right yeah that's a shame isn't it because yeah. the other two ones are these two that are yeah. very close but i think you could get that in now there's one you will need the deck so maybe you could maybe you could put the floor together put the put the seats on the wall bring the seats onto the floor then screw then screw the frame on yeah and then and then do, do these two bits yeah so totally different order um i did just catch a comment um about the wires um on the magazine it shows the wires coming out from the side there yeah. Yeah. Wires there um that should be the case with mine but because i disconnected my wires i didn't like the idea of putting these seats on with the uh with the uh, roof connected so these should go along there the next you take them there and there and the next set of wires will be coming out there yeah so the these wires that go from here onwards are still connected to the main bus yeah so um that's that's why that is um so i i really don't want to build any more of this um with the top and the bottom attached like you see how i'm flipping things around yeah that's fine i i am trying to do this as per the magazine but there are a few little bits where i'm like yeah no that's not going to work for me yeah right so let's crack on with these seats which i think this is the last bit now isn't it so yeah. you've got another two to do have you on that on that no no i've got another six to go no you've got another two to do in this stage oh 
53. Of course there is. Yes, yeah, you are right, yeah. Sorry. Right, so lining up the hole with the hole on the wall. This one's a little bit trickier because of where the window frame is. Find the hole. And that is tricky. Especially as I'm kind of too many shadows for my liking. Yeah. Right, there we go. So I found the hole. So I'm just going to give it a few screws just until it bites into the wall. There we go. That's in. Then I take the seat. There we go. Just give it a wiggle and then it fell into place. And now I can finish screwing this up. Uh, I am cheating a little bit. I'm coming in. At, I don't know if you've noticed coming in at a slight angle yeah seems to be working this is all the things that your granddad told you not to do because if you come in at an angle you're going to screw it in at an angle um but i'm good with that yeah so there's three seats in really nice and there's a couple of seats not in nice We've got another one on this this uh, issue. Another one on this issue, right? So, screw loaded up on screwdriver. Locate the hole on the seat. So there we go. That's that's lined up properly. So we come in with screwdriver, finding that hole. Oh, I've done it. No. This, this one's quite hard because you've got to do bits of wall trying to... I think I'm trying to hold this wall more than that one. Yeah. So I'll tilt it a little bit so I can get the finger underneath. So I'm just going to screw that until... Remember, we're not putting in enough to bite the seat. We need it to go in enough to bite the wall. Yeah. And we've got some nice comments on in the comments. Uh, yeah it's actually fallen out of the hole right there we go that's why it wasn't going in well stuart sullivan says perfect thanks penny for the wire explanation that's that's a real struggle that really is not going in right so it's gone through the seat okay in fact actually it's gone in so well it's not coming out um, right. I might just throw out the smaller screwdriver bit. I'm just going to switch to the J-O. I think the J, J-1 is a little bit too wide and not enough bitey on the screw. Yeah. I like more. There we go. That's lovely. Right, that's bitten then. So that's bitten with the wall. So we give the seat a wiggle. And I think that is actually in already. Yeah, because I can I can pull it out. I don't know if you yeah. see that coming out. Can you hear that click? Yeah. Yeah, so that was already in. So that's fine. Not a problem if it's already in. It saves us finding it. And then we'll just finish. And to be honest with you, this is a much better screwdriver bit. J.O. Right, and that's as far as it'll go without increasing the pressure. That's yeah. against the wall. That's that's not jumping out easily. Nice. So, three seats in. Do you know what? You can tell the difference, I think. Not a massive difference, but they're just, you see, these are perfectly straight. Yeah. So all those people, and I've seen it on Facebook, oh, my seats are wonky. No, this is what happens when you straighten them up. Yeah. And that's these are a little bit wonky. Yeah. Look, well, look, look at those two. Yeah. If you totally. Look at those two, it, it's like it's trying to go around a corner. Yeah. But this will this will straighten all up. Look. Yeah. See that's not straight. So don't worry about your wonky seats until you get if they're wonky after you do this, then you worry. Yeah. So uh stage six then uh continue on the 
to the front of the bus, fixing oh, the next eight up. frames. Hang on, that sec, Dave. Right, there we go. Right, sorry, I'm with you now. Continued to the front of the bus, fixing the next seat frame, 65B, in place using a DP screw. Fix each of the remaining seat frames, two times 66A and 66B, in place using DP screw as in the inset. And, yeah, and the inset is the one on the right-hand side. Yeah. So, right, so we should, in theory, put these four in better and more smoothly than the last four. You, well, in theory. In theory. So I'll get four screws ready. So, right, tilt the bus up on its side. I'm going to have to put that screw bit away because I know I'm going to lose it. Right, there we go. So, screwdriver, screwdriver, screw, bleh, screw on screwdriver bit. In fact, I'll put it down there because it'll be more convenient. So, find the C, which is here. Line that up. There. We've got a nice a nice innuendo there, Penny. You can take it any way, which way you want. Um, P40F20 says, the wobbly bit gives you very little control. Yes. <laughs> yes, very little control when you've got wobbly bit. Right. I've got a horrible feeling this didn't line up. Oh, yes, it did. Right. Oh, no, it didn't. Oh, yes, it did. Right, so it's hard to see this one because you've got the, um, the the window frame, but this is the one I've just done. So we'll give that a wiggle. There we go. And that, that's gone in. Clicked in, yeah. If I've got that screw in just a little bit, it will, it will hold that seat bottom in. Come in really at an angle that's you're comfortable with. Mark Osborne that's... says on the real bus the bolts are chrome going into the bracket. You can always pop a chrome pen over them. I don't know if you'll be able to get it in easily. This one's worrying me. I think I got away with that. Because of this post there. I either had to come in way too much and I couldn't get the screw it, or yeah. I had to come in dangerously close to the seat. Yeah. And I think I got away with that. Yeah. So that I'm happy with. At the end of the day, if you don't get those screws totally, totally tight, I can't see it being a major problem. No. Because they're not, I mean, at worst case scenario, You've got a figure that weighs hardly anything going to be sitting on them. Yeah. If you were, if you were putting a lot of weight on there, pushing back up and down all the time, you see there, look, uh, this one. So if you were, you know, that's not a functional seat. No. But it need to be functional. So um, if they were real seats, then I'd say, yeah, that's not good enough because someone will fall off that. Right, so screwdriver, screw, blur, screw on screwdriver bit. DP, yes. Yeah. Line up the hole on the back of the seat with the hole in the side. Come in with the screwdriver very carefully because you're half blind doing it. If you have shaky hand syndrome, you're going to struggle. I'm sorry. Yeah. I haven't got shaky hand syndrome and I'm struggling. I'm going to knock that screw right out. Start again. I always get it in first time, but. Mm. 
And Mark Osborne says, like the grey between the windows is for mica. So it should be uh, a bit glossy. And the sides are rexine, which is a treated fabric, which is semi-gloss. Right. I might have just screwed that screw in a little bit too much because I forgot about the seat. But, oh, there we go. It's, it was almost perfect anyway. Yeah. So I'll just finish that screw off. It, it's much easier when you haven't got the window frames in the way. Yeah. There you go. I'm happy with that one. So two more to go now. Two more to so go, yeah. I've reached a point on this where I can't wait to finish these two seats. Yeah. I don't blame just you. Just a few too many seats. Yeah. So I'm glad I'm not doing the RML. <laughs> yes. That's even more seats. Yeah, was that an extra um, four benches on the top and four on the bottom? Yeah. Or was it two on the top? Two on the top, two on the bottom, yeah. yeah. Oh, two. So there's only one extra row of seats. Right, so I'm lining the seat up. I don't want to sort of tempt fate, but I seem to have done really well. All of these, none, none of them, sorry, have needed a file to make the hole bigger. Mm, Michael Wick says uh, the stream has stopped, but it still says right. it's live. Okay. Let me just double check that. No, it's it's um, still running as far as I'm aware. Let's have a look. A second delay, so ish. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, it's eight. still going, Penny. Is it though? Could be buffering, yeah, yeah, okay. um, Mike, Mike says, rather than Mike says. And Fleetwood yeah, Jay is, says it's live, so. Yeah, there is quite a delay. Um, round, well, I say round about now, um, but I, what I did is I just waved my fingers in the front to see how long it takes to catch up. So it's about, it's about 10, 15 second delay. Yeah. So well, the Mike says it could be buffering his end. So my, even mine does that, and I've got Supersonics broadband. So where were we? Right. So this, this screw is in just enough to bite. So give the seat a wiggle. Look at that, straight in. Yeah. I think it seems to be getting in easier as we get closer to the end. You're getting more so used maybe, to it, you see. Okay. I thought maybe it was um, as, obviously, each seat that you screw in, it's actually adding strength to, to the walls. Yeah. And I wonder if it's it's trying to pull the seat in front in, which is why it's easier. Yeah. Right. Peter Whitlock's got a few problems as well. So um, ours, our, a lot of us, it's running fine. So I'm going to guess it's your connection. I know there's bad weather again. I don't. I didn't mean that to come out as it's your fault, not mine. Um, but right, so seat lined up for the last time. For the last one. Oh, 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 enjoying myself, man. Right, I think the hardest bit is getting the screw in just enough to bite. Maybe yeah, I've actually done that one. I think I slipped a little bit. You've got to get that hole on the seat in exactly the same position as the hole on the wall. Yeah. That one is screwed in at an angle. So that's not going to come out. So I'll straighten the screw up. No, nope, that's gone in at an even weirder angle. So, right, got that one out. So let's start again. That's probably the preferable option. If it's not going in right, start again pull out and start again yeah 
and what would probably help is if I had a little light coming in from from what would be the top of the you know the roof because that's where most of my shadows in fact actually let's let's bring the light in I think I did that last week didn't I yeah I think you did oh no that's not gonna work no. right, sorry guys move sit move um camera booms and things about I and mean, you might lose the you might have you still got the mic am i still talking yeah you're still talking right oh that's a lot better now if you can see my light is i brought it in really close yeah and that has seriously helped you can get it in a lot better now can't you I can see this thing up. See, I've actually made a bit of a mess of that hole where I've accidentally screwed it in at an angle. But yeah, seeing is half of the battle. That's trying to go in at an angle, but I fought more bravely there yeah right so one last little wiggle there we go nice clipped in nice and firm satisfying click yeah so again this one is quite close to the window frame and we are about two turns away from finishing this issue Peter yeah, Whitlock, like seeing is believing, yeah. And the Lord said, let there be light, and there was loads of it. Right, sorry, I just realised I blocked all of that camera as I was screwing it in, but... Oh, right, there right. we go. I am super-duper happy with that. Um, um, that is it. That's it. That's so it. that is definitely more challenging than last week because you've already got a wall in place yeah but equally as satisfying so um yeah are we happy with that yeah so if you notice the seats they're all now perfectly straight yeah and just get the dust off the seats where it's been sitting on my shelf for so long um so the last but one page is the finished view yeah and mine looks almost the same as that except i haven't got the wire sticking out the side yet no um so yeah what did you think dave brilliant absolutely you, brilliant looking forward to that or did you enjoy it i don't know what I, stage you're at i enjoyed it um i'm looking forward to that um christine's bus is at 78 i think it is now so it's not a million miles away then so, so she's not a million miles away i'm a million miles away um right but we've just painted the um under the cab bits um yes you put just some beautiful pictures on facebook about those. those um so they're under the cab bit and um where's chris's there it is so that's uh christine's so um you have just uh painted them and um we did all the wiring on christine's bus um two days ago i think it was and we got everything working and uh, the only thing that we're a bit miffed on is the fact that the the light mod we did the sad light um it's a brighter light and i'm not going to take it all apart now i think what i'm going to do is just paint some yellowy paint some like um some some light weathering yellowy paint over the light glass uh, to make it just okay yeah that makes sense just um, a little I've bit. A bit of a problem um i was showing my bus off to my next door neighbors the other day and um one headlight's brighter than the other oh. so i'm a little 
disappointed about but um you know that's the way it is um also some of you may have noticed the background i'm just going to go to solo view yeah so some of you might it's a brand new shelf wow. so i've actually got a shelf in here now i've got r 2 here as well so you can hear him now as well as as see him or you can see him as well as hear him yeah um so what i'm going to be doing is i'll put my current working projects on there um i do need to change that camera view again i did have this all worked out so i've got the feet on the top there which obviously is just a box of bits at the moment because we haven't started it yeah I've got the heart there um on this shelf is the root master in fact what i'll do is i will put this back on the shelf and then you can see what mine looks like in all its glory yeah and then below that you've got the tractor which is because we've only done one stage it's just one massive box of bits yeah so um, but you know obviously as the weeks go on um it will it will increase and i noticed that this has got locating tabs on the top which i'm being blind here right there we go that is my bus so far the top's not fitting that old yeah that needs a lot of work to it, doesn't it there we go that's as good as you're going to get for now because obviously the bits aren't screwed in yeah but that is look at that i'm not shaking the table a lot but i've got the harley bits on the top for shaking like mad yeah that that bus isn't moving i don't know if you can see you can no, you can't really see it but i'm actually quite scared that those handlebars are going to fall off yeah but that isn't moving r2d2 no. responding because he he when you touch him so i'm shaking it enough for r2 to go off bus isn't moving an inch yeah so Excellent. i think that is testimony to how good that build is i i can't sing the praises of this build enough yeah um uh, you know we Stuart, we Stuart, sorry Stuart sullivan said um do i airbrush no um all these parts that i'm doing are um rattle can uh, they're all rattle can and there are it's the paint the paint is top quality paint it's um actually coach paint um mixed to the correct um specification so i just simply do it with a rattle can and um and then the smaller bits i'm hand painting with um some very tiny brushes and um, some very small pots of paint that have been mixed up specially as well. So, um, no, it's not airbrushed. Um, I don't possess one. And um, I've not had any problems so far, touch wood. Um, so, but yeah, it's, it's down to the quality of paint. It's um, not cheap and um i have it mixed specially by a specialist company and the mixed rattle cans um who are specification for doing models especially so that's that's the answer to that yeah i um i know some people decant rattle cans um i don't think there's a mass i mean with an airbrush it's more precise with the rattle can you got to have you got to control it a lot more and if you can get a good rattle can finish fantastic you, you don't want to be rattle canning parts this big no you just got, but for what you're doing it's absolutely uh, fantastic i personally i don't understand why people well i suppose it depends on the size of the bits but um where people decant rattle cans and then put it through an airbrush it just seems an awful lot more work but yeah it does yeah so 
uh dave you get a really nice finish on the parts you are painting thank you um, mark goes but one little detail can be done on that panel there's ks a key tiki lou tiki yes yes tiki yes uh, yeah Stuart Sullivan, okay, bus is there looking very organized. Yeah, I'm trying to be, as it gets bigger, I mean, it was last week when I put, I tried to put the roof, uh, the roof on the bus and it wouldn't fit. And I'm like, right, I've got to get this done now. Um, I actually had two shelves and it was, I worked out how much extra I needed and I created that shelf underneath. And, yeah. And um, I knew one day that shelf would, that middle shelf would come out but I hadn't got that shelf ready. And uh, I was actually looking at putting this one in. Um, so now I've actually split my room into three. And this is my little hobby area. Behind my shelf is the 3D print area. And then obviously I've got my bed over the other side. Um, so yeah, it's a lot more organized now. And I, Once you get to this point, I think you've got to be organized. Um, I, I can't keep lifting that bus up all the time and get things out it's just getting too much yeah uh, so look at the front of the flat dave lock at the front of the flat Dave. yes yeah yeah there is a lock at the front of yeah what i did right. there was i simply just taped over it and um left it red london transport red and that's simply because on christine's bus it probably would have been red because there's red there's red bits on Christine's bus. On my bus, um, I've left it um, red, and as like a nod back to it being a London transport bus. Um, it's very difficult to get the very tiny um, transfers to go in that locker area. Um, but yeah. Oh yeah. Of course, yeah yeah well yeah i think um, it's um i think when i show you i think you mean in in um in there don't you yeah yeah that's um gonna make it awkward isn't it well with it being under the cab as well it's not going to be seen so i know it's there i was watching um another episode of marty's matchbox restorations and he actually makes his own decals yeah and uh, i'm wondering if for the odd decal on on that basically he's downloading the font and but it, it's the white writing that's hard isn't it yeah it is yeah it's really hard yeah. to print white yeah um white white on a clear background i mean if you did white on a black background that's not a problem because it'll it'll print all the way around yeah um but yeah, it's but it, I, I guess it can be done. Um, yeah. but on most people, uh, and me included, I've got an inkjet printer, but not a laser. Yeah, I know transfers are better with lasers. Um, so I had the anyway. I, I had the main transfers done uh, via uh, a friend who I think I've shared before, and he um he made these transfers especially for this model i've got the legal lettering to do um and i've got to order them so and um mark osborne no it's not uh, leyland paints it's um mixed to mason's paints um mason's as in the coach paints and um it's a, actually a firm called sayers in northamptonshire there seems to be a lot of coach related stuff in northamptonshire mm. is that a coachy area or is it just coincidence uh just coincidence i think fair enough then um peter whitlock i like this he says you could always add a resistor in your circuit to reduce the brightness this is obviously talking about your lights yeah yeah that's a fact yeah i could do yeah yeah thank you for that yeah i never thought about that um yeah, yeah i can i can get the bus physically upside down to find the wire uh without yeah. taking it apart so i could probably do it that way 
yeah mark gosborne says it's a bit big now it is a bit bit is a bit understatement isn't it yeah <laughs> Uh, Stuart Sullivan, I wish you'd made this comment last week. Um, is everyone resting the bus on the stands provided? I'm not, should I? I found the stands, I mean, we've built an awful lot around the bus since, but um, I found the stands were a bit wobbly, and I would like to bet if I had that bus on those stands, it would have knocked over. Um, I actually made some rods which go into the stands so instead of being four points it's now one big square and i actually threw them away last weekend and had i known that you were using your stands i would have got your address and i would have sent them to you um but i might be able to 3d print if i've still got the files i could 3d print some off but basically what it does it connects all four of the stands up to make one big square and i found that added a lot of support not as much as this wonderful wooden base that was made for me um is it david buckingham yeah who made bases and he is selling them um so you can find details somewhere on the on the facebook group that is the best method i found um let me just move that a little bit um basically it's a big wooden base i don't know if you can see there it's got a wooden stump in it just big yeah. enough for the stones provided and yeah you push those supports in and you can see my bus is actually airborne which is how i like it i think that's absolutely fantastic so um see if let's let's have a little play with the camera this might lose an awful lot of focus. Oh. Right, so bear with me. I'm, I'm not I'm not the best camera person. Oops, wrong way. There we go. So I don't know if you can see there. Yeah that's that's the wooden base and, and there's a little stump there and that's where you put the, the ones provided in the back uh, with the magazine yeah and uh, that works an absolute treat that is absolutely brilliant i can pick it up by the base um in fact i'll show you exactly how i pick up my bus so i'm going to just cut you out a little bit dave okay uh, the way i pick it up is I take one corner and I slide it out so it's hanging over the shelf, still holding it, and then I just slip my hand underneath until it gets to about there. Oh, yeah. that way! No, I still have to go back on. I didn't realise that's the first time I've lifted that up with the roof on. Um, but yeah, that you that's brilliant. I'm really chuffed with that um that is an absolutely amazing base and that's a really heavy model um but obviously like if you just had the stands you probably wouldn't be able to lift that you'd be you know yeah but just you gotta you really want to hold it with your arms well ideally you want your arms there but you want the edges um or better still get a get a partner or someone to help you yeah yeah i'll so be putting dave, all the all the details in uh mark osborne i'll be putting all the all the little details in that i can um including the t-key locks and uh what have you um obviously we've got an awful long way to go on um detailing um once i get all sprayed up and all painted then i'll be um looking at my photographs i've got an awful lot of photographs online and um i'll be picking up little details such as the tiki locks and uh anything that's that i can see that's going to be picked out by someone that's going to be obviously looking at these models uh, because they're obviously going to be display models uh, not only in the home but um out on public display as well so obviously i want them 
pretty much well if I can. So I'm just trying to find um, sure it's David Buckingham. I think it's David Buckingham that sells the bases, yeah. Yeah, right. So um, let me do a screen share. Uh, let, no, let's do next week first. Next week. And we'll, uh, yeah. Right. Uh, next week. And then we'll do... Um, so this is the one I genuinely don't know about because I haven't seen it. Okay. Um, so, uh, oh, no, no, I have seen this one. Sorry. I have the magazine, so this is definitely going to go ahead. Yeah. Um, we are going to start to fit the front windows and blind frame together with extensions for the electrical system. Yeah. So this is going to – no, this is, this is uh, front windows and blind frame. So do, you, ah, so do you think that might pull all the frame in a little bit? Yeah, I think so. People that have already built this. So um, that might just help with that a little bit more. Yeah. Um, but I'm also thinking that if I do this mod for the blinds to make the cogs fit, do you think now is the time to do it? Yeah, I think so. Do you want? Does anybody want to see next week? Yeah, go on then. We can Which is really out. this week. Really this yeah. week. Yeah, yeah. That's Stuart's bits and it, aren't we? So there's lots of bits and pieces in there. Uh, 13 stages there is to next week, which is actually this week because it's 86. Isn't it? Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to share that yet. Oh, no, you're right. I, yeah, I was so trying to get it ready. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's that. Dave did say to me before the stream, he says, Oh, a bit worried about next week. Yeah, it has got an awful lot lot to do so um well, I'm, so I'm gonna be i'm gonna be busy obviously painting because um there's lots of parts to be painted on that so that's brilliant yeah um right so talking of um lots to do obviously we are a week behind it looks like the news agents caught up um what I've decided I'm going to do is, obviously, I lose a stream every four weeks. Um, I'm actually not going to make an effort to catch up. Um, we know we've got figures to come in. Um, so when, when the next figure drops in, we'll do two issues. We'll do the figure and we'll do the next issue. Yeah. Um, and then if there's any issues, you know, we may get an issue that says, here's a wire, plug it in, end of issue. Then we'll start. We'll look at doing another issue as well. Um, so we we're, we're not going to look at catching up. We'll wait for an opportunity to catch up to just naturally fall into place. Yeah, I think that's the easiest way to do it. Um, so yeah, expect one issue. We will be behind, and I say uh, next week there'll be a stream. The week after, is it you and Fleetwood are going to do a stream? I think so, yeah. I think so. Right. So they will do a stream, and then when I do the next show on my channel, I will be doing the same issue again, just like we did with the blinds. Remember when Adrian built his blinds? Yeah. And then I did I did the I did the same the following week, which is a bit of a cheat because I can look at their build and go, Yeah, I think I'll do this, bearing that in mind. Um, yeah. so let's show David Buckingham's post. Um, he he's, well, this is on the Facebook group. He says, if anybody would like a base, uh, just let me know. Should we be doing some in the near future? If you want to know what they look like, go to YouTube back to January time. Penny does an unveiling of the base that she received. The video is about 20 minutes on the virtues of the base. I hope that satisfied all the questions, Dave. Um so yeah i know at first when he did that he said oh keep it you know don't tell people who made it so obviously yeah. he was worried about getting too many orders in but 
then after a while he decided he's happy to make it and and i would i would definitely recommend it because it's absolutely fabulous and i'll tell you something else about it you don't know this he made this base let's say back in january and um if you look at the front you can't necessarily see the front but there's the front of the bus and there's the base so there's about half an inch between the front of the base and the, and the front of the bus yeah he we hadn't fitted the rear platform at the time so he's had to guess how long the base is going to be and i can tell you that the base the back will be slightly wider because we've still got a panel but the gap between the back of the base and the back of the bus is about an inch with the outer panels left to go on. Um, so I would say that that is give or take five millimeters. The gap at each end of the base is going to be exactly the same. Yeah. That is brilliant. I'm, I, so you haven't got like this much at the front and that much. It is literally it is exactly the same. Yeah. yeah exactly yeah so. um and then you can do what i'm gonna do and i'm just i'm just gonna rub some wax into the wood the wood is lovely um so i'm gonna show off the wood um i think horlicks is gonna be putting some of that felt on to make it look like a piece of road yeah um, don't know if this is deliberate or not uh no right he's used a different color piece of wood on the top it's a slightly darker wood it's more of a plywood yeah so got a very nice clear divider between the edge um but i, I say that's got to be as far as i'm concerned that's got to be polished up and yeah i'll get a little cross plaque on it i think you're doing the same aren't you dave yeah definitely <laughs> so um yeah david buckingham um at least drop me an email if you if you're interested and say oh are you still are you still doing the bases and if he says no i'm ever so sorry i'm not we well, ain't lost anything well you have you've lost a really good base there but um obviously i don't want to push him into stuff that he doesn't want to do anymore um, i think he but, was um i think he was actually building quite a few um yeah, while the weather yeah. was right because i think he has to uh, do it outside uh, right. and i think he it might be weather dictated so um right. I would uh, certainly get in touch with him and, and ask him, um, you know, if there's any available that is done. If not, um, when can he next do one? But expect a delay if there's bad weather, because I, I do believe he works outside. So, so if it's um, if he lives anywhere like Newport, he probably won't get one done for about six months, the way our weather is. Yeah. Um, hello, David Bassett. How are you? Um, yeah, it's gone very, very well. Um, can you remember the price? I I can't remember the exact price, but I remember it being, how do I put this? It's not pennies. It is, it is quite a bit of money, um, yeah. but I don't think it's really, really expensive. I've seen bases for like two, three hundred quid. It's not anywhere near that. Um, I, think, then, I think it's about 50 pounds, but don't yeah. quote me on that. It, it, it's in that region i know it's i know it's double figures and then um, uh, it's got the postage as well so yeah so um yeah i just i think yeah um michael's my, my world of mike has just seen my harley um we had to stop on the harley because um the instructions have got a little bit whack they're they're like issue 55 take the parts you got from issue 60 and then now it's telling us to, to put the engine in, but we've worked out the earlier parts. You've got to come in from the inside of the frame. So I don't want to put the engine in um, in case it blocks the, doing the screw holes. So I'm waiting for the next pack, and then I can go back. Um, but it's like, it's basically saying, take the parts that you won't get for another three what, three months. And it's like, that's a bit bit weird i think so, yeah ah the base was 35 pounds plus 15 pounds postage plus extra for mirror top finish i didn't know he did a mirror top finish so yeah so the 
There we are, fifty pound then. Which yeah. I've got to be honest with you, I can't see how it's worth his time doing it for that price. Yeah. He's he's do I think he's doing us a favour for that price. Yeah. Well, bear with me a sec, I'm just checking on a print. Right, sorry, I'm doing some prints for attractor prints for people, and I just wanted to make sure they were. That's an awesome price, yeah, it is. Yeah, um, Stuart says, Am I building the fit? Yes, I am. It's going to be a dual build between myself and Fleetwood. Um, the, the first he was doing 16. <laughs> Dave, you've gone on to mute. Oh, uh, no, well, sorry, it's all right. I thought you'd gone on mute on purpose. <laughs> then I saw the clips moving. And I thought, oh, no, he hasn't. Um, <laughs> wow, I can't believe he was doing... Well, I can believe he was doing 16. So um, there's another tick in the box for the Facebook group, isn't that? We've yeah, yeah. Get work. And, of course, it's kept him off the street causing trouble. Yeah. He hasn't got time to go and do drugs and... and cause trouble for the neighbors because he's too busy making the bases yeah so, um yeah and david bassett says um uh, oh my photos from some days amersham district uh, running day were okay oh they wow. were fantastic absolutely did... brilliant um he actually took oops sorry someone wrote in the chat um he actually took quite a few photos of um wheels so well remembered david bassett because we have had this long debate about the wheels haven't we yeah uh, it seems that these wheels are correct and they're also incorrect they, they seem to have two different types yeah uh, so i'm now looking at maybe painting some silver circles on my my wheels um possibly um i don't know yet but brilliant photo he must have looked a little bit odd you know there's a bus i just want to take some pictures of wheels <laughs> so um stuart sullivan says are you building the fiat penny and then fleetwood j says the fiat show is on sunday the 20th of october 8 p.m on fleetwood j's channel yeah i i can't wait I've got five five issues of parts there, and I'm like, I want to just open them up and have a little sneak. And I'm, I'm looking at them, I'm thinking, how can I unseal them but make them look like they've been sealed? Yeah. Because I I do like, like tonight, you saw me open the packaging. I, 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 I had a quick glance at the instructions, but it was only in the sense of testing them on the screen. And I, you know, I, I try to build this um, genuinely. This is my first reaction to it. Um, so that any problems that we get, I have to decide on the fly. Um, just like you guys would if you get at home with it open and start building it. Yeah. Um, Mark Osborne. Um, Dave, are you a bus number collector? <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, or do you go to show, show bus uh, because you look seem familiar? Well, I've been going to bus rallies for more than 50 years, um, and I'm older than 50, um, a lot older than 50. Um, I've owned uh, vintage buses, I've ridden on vintage buses. I've been to more vintage bus rallies than probably the average person has had hot dinners. Um, yeah, I've been around uh, an awful lot. Um, I live in East Yorkshire, uh, but in the 1960s and 70s, um, we uh, jumped on a vintage bus in Hull and we travelled all over England. Um, every summer, every weekend, we was at a different event. Uh, London, Brighton, uh, Cobham, uh, Blackpool, uh, you name it, we've been there. Um, well before the days of the major motorways. Uh, so it was, it was well overnight. 
So, uh, yes, I have changed a bit since then, obviously, granted. But, um, yes, I've been around an awful lot. Yeah. Um, Stuart Sullivan saying, hope many, hope many magazines and cost, guys. Oh, how many magazines? Um, it's 26, 24 months, and it's, uh, it's round about the 40 quid mark. Um, yeah, and there's about five issues a month. Um, the only criticism I've got is that there's no magazine with it. Um, and I do like the interesting facts and figures and things that they give you. Um, but yeah, it's you have to download the instructions as a PDF from the model space site. Um, but as Fleetwood says, he thinks it's 135 issues. I thought it was 100. Um, cause I seem to remember it's five packs a month, and then towards the end, they, they chuck about six in. Um, so Stuart Sullivan says, Dave, what is your what is the secret then to youthfulness if you've been rallying for 50 years? It's all that fresh diesel smoke, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Well, um, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, family motto is fair at age um if you're into family history and you can see i've got me my own hair and uh, it's not really gray yet at the moment but um i'm getting there <laughs> so am i, am I actually the you uh possibly yes you are yeah wow you are, you are gray than me yeah because you've you've done more bus spotting and you've chilled out and relaxed <laughs> stuart Sullivan <laughs> says fleetwood penny <laughs> Uh, you be a caravaner. Was that aimed at me, or was that? Uh, it was 125 issues. Fleetwood says, um, "Yeah, you could be a caravaner." I was a caravaner. Yeah, <laughs> been there, done that. <laughs> right. Uh, okay, so I believe we have one more thing to bring up that I promised you all, uh, which is if it's still there, if we can find it. Um, and that is the um, events. Yeah. So, have I just lost that thread now? Fine. And then we need to, and then we need to um, publicise everybody's uh, YouTube channel. Yes. Now I just realised there's a tab called events. Events. Uh, yeah. We're at making a discussion group on events um oh there we go um michael anderson's made a post david bucking we still doing the base so that's probably a really good thing to do actually oh, jolly uh, good right let's find articles to all of jason's posts i was only two why does it not find them all then does it forget about them after a while all right let's I don't think I can get the uh, comments up. There we go. Right. So, if you could let me know any dates of shows, I might. Sorry, is this actually coming? That's not. You know, I'm I'm trying to show you the Facebook group, and I didn't even have it on screen. So, uh, if you could let me know any dates of shows, events you think our members would be interested in, post them all here, and I'll try and do a diary of the event. So, yeah, obviously we set this up last week. And I've just discovered there is actually a, uh, a an event section. Um, but we'll have a little look at what we've got. So Dave says, the Sunday the 20th of October, 10 o'clock, 4 p.m., Doncaster Omnibus Light Rail, Light Rail Society Rally at the San, Santoft Trolleybus Museum. Find details about this and other events at this website. Um, Dave, I'm going to be a bit rude and I'm going to delete that because that is a past event oh sorry so we did say we'll remove them just to keep it up to date so we've got uckfield mrc model railway exhibition 1920th october beckenham R mrc model railway exhibition 19th of october um we've got another one there that's in the past so 
and then we've got Horlicks the Uckfield show which is very good is at the Civic Centre just down the hill from down centre car parks if you think the go on the Sunday is less busy and also the car park is easier this is Andrew Jones typing this for Pam Bailey has she got bad oh bless get get well soon with your hand then um so that I, I'm, I, I think that's a good response actually I and mean, we've only been doing that a week now haven't we yeah so, it's brilliant uh, so yeah I, I like to say i i didn't I, I didn't look there is actually an events tab so um might be easy if you just add the event in rather than making poor old um fleet would work hard keeping things up to date yeah so, um yeah and obviously i'll keep an eye out for anything that might bring you guys to wales to meet me um yeah so i think that's everything isn't it yeah is it anybody else wants to bring up well um oh fleet was just said third of november cleveland is near blackpool ribble uh for 12 p.m so i'm gonna have to start coordinating things in my diary now i really do want to do some events um but my saying that i, I get every other sunday off so there's a 50 50 chance i can make it well if 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 theoretically if we're all from different parts of the uk yeah. uh, you, you know somebody will get to some event somewhere along the line won't they yeah yeah and plus like i might get to meet you and then you'll get to meet someone else and i'll meet someone else and then we can all we can all yeah. do these whispers thing can't we <laughs> that, that dave he's really nice on stream but in real life <laughs> So, uh, Chris, Christine, Christine's taking the job on on the Routemaster group of um, welcoming new members. Um, yeah, we've been very bad at that, really, haven't we? She, um, she, she's taken that job on of welcoming new members to the group, and um, that's working well at the moment. And um, I think we should have a nice warm welcome to the group, and because um, obviously it's a it's a lovely, friendly atmosphere as the group and you know we want to keep it that way if we if possible the yeah, group yeah. link is down below as well in penny's description here okay. you might you well. you're back now you might yeah. your mic was cutting out oh sorry it's um am i doing a joe longthorn or whatever his name is um but yeah, I mean this the, the group. I, I think the group's been brilliant. From it's just it gets better and better, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. And we all work together, and you know, like I say you know, Kevin's posted that problem today he's had with his blind. So you know, I'm able to look at that, and we'll try and tackle it. I, I will make that little sleeve for it um, when I get the chance. Um, hopefully, I'll get it done by next week, but. Um, you know what I'm like. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, so I, I think the main problem with that really just needs, um, just out of interest, most people who've done that part, does yours seem to work okay or are you having problems? I, I'd like to know sort of roughly what percentage we've got problems and and what percentage are, are, are okay. So I just bear with me. I'm just trying to find my remote control for my heating. Um, I'm getting a little bit chilly. And I don't really want to get up. Hi, Joshua Spurrier. We're seeing you. Thank you. Pro problem Penny. Is that you have a problem or are you calling me Problem Penny? Like, <laughs> yeah. We want to know what your problems are. Yeah, Penny's put a link in the comments there for the Facebook group, uh, for the Rootmaster Facebook group, for anybody's not joined. I get up, go and turn the heating on, and then as I sit back down again, I find the remote control. <laughs> That's my look. Yeah. Oh, well. I'll try, I might just turn it up a bit now. I must say. So, I'm yeah, up. so yeah, you've got to mention um, everybody's channel then, everybody's uh, YouTube channel. Right. So who have we got? We've got Chris Campling um we have got uh chris camping did make some comments earlier on 
Um, so remember, if I mention, well, anybody who makes a comment, uh, if you just hover over their name, you'll see three little dots come up on the right hand side. Um, I, I can't if you hover or you click on it, it then brings down a list. And one, one of the options is to visit their channel. Um, so offhand, thinking about the people we've got, Chris Davies, uh, we've got Chris Campling, um, he's got a good channel. Uh, we've got World of Mike. World of Mike is now starting to pick up the, um, the Root Master again, which is great to see. Um, yeah. If I missed anybody out, if you do any videos, make a little comment. We will give you a show. Fleetwood J, of course. Like, share, subscribe. Oh, sorry. Subscribe to Fleetwood J um, because Fleetwood J, at the very, very least, is my backup plan when i when i work uh late yeah so, um yeah we try and keep the um the bus goodness coming um whether it be my channel or someone else's and of course don't forget dave say who does some wonderful engine videos thank you and i'm not saying this because you're here <laughs> engines aren't the sort of thing that really thrills me yet your videos i really enjoy watching them or uh, well, there's uh, going to be a lot more to come on that score. And um, I've got a collection of engines, uh, Petter stationary engines. Yeah. And um, I've got some bits and pieces that they used to drive as well. So um, at the moment, on my YouTube channel, there's only a couple of videos. Well, there's a few videos of, um, of, of them ticking over. Uh, yeah. I want to do some more in-depth um videos of them um and some more um informational videos as well so but obviously our buses are on there as well on the youtube channel so and then maybe, maybe this is why like with engines i mean it's like what you're doing it sounds like what we really need uh maybe part of the reason i'm not super into engines is because i don't understand them much so hmm. by having someone have videos this is what this is this is what this this is the purpose of this engine and once you start understanding why i mean obviously like the i i know motorbike engines and i know car engines yeah and you've got these freestanding but they're working engines aren't they yeah they are, and yeah you see these old old ones at steam museums and things like that and, yeah. and they've got big massive belts on and, and yeah. they're doing things like wood turning or water pumping or whatever yeah. So they integrate with with industry and and the industry. They they they're the first. We talk about the 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 route master being part of the evolution of buses. You know, obviously there were buses before, yeah. and then if it wasn't for the route master, there wouldn't be the modern buses. That's right. And I think maybe the same with with your engines with industry. We wouldn't yeah. be, although they're old and antiquated and and they're not. They're not as efficient as modern things, modern machinery. If it wasn't for your engines, it, we wouldn't have modern ones. Farming, especially uh, to do with farming more than anything else, more than industry. Because um, yeah. obviously, you think of an industrial engine as a great big thing. Mm. Um, and quite often, these smaller engines that I have, they, um, they used to run small um root cutters or uh, corn grinders or you know a small water pump or something like that uh, which kept um bits of equipment running on a farm more than yeah. anything else milking machines are they shareable as well so if you had say four or five farmers who just needed a small machine could it be popped on the back of a tractor, driven to the next farm, and they use it, and then yes, it. so it, yeah. it make it more effective as a co-op then. Yeah, you could do. Yeah, you could do. I mean, obviously, in today's modern farming world, we just press a button, and then an electric motor does the job. But like I said, if it wasn't for these older machines, I I honestly don't think we'd have modern things yeah you could see the need for it so someone's sitting there going right well how can we improve on that 
and then once they come up with something someone else is like well how can i improve on that that's right yeah so a comment from world mike the way dave has transformed his bus and his wife's and the way so much detail and care goes into it is brilliant can't wait to see the finished results such a lovely livery thank you ever so much for that comment mike it's very much appreciated and um and what i've got to say is that i'm doing it for a reason um th the reason is twofold really um the reason is um christine's bus is special to her and that's because uh, we have a friend that used to own rm2208 uh, in the shillaby livery and he actually brought it to a little show that we organized uh, full of vintage cars um in the 90s and um he brought it from west yorkshire where he was keeping it and he brought it here into east yorkshire uh, to this little vintage car show and he'd restored 2208 in the shilly beer livery and um it looked absolutely pristine and um so obviously you know Christine remembers that and when she said she would like to paint a bus and do a bus in a in a livery uh, she had no hesitation whatsoever to think about doing that livery uh, the George Chili Beer livery and if you get chance and you don't know what I'm on about have a look at the George Chili Beer livery uh, on the internet it's so so superb it really is yeah and then my bus my bus is going to be done in the east yorkshire eyms livery the old livery and uh, the 1920s livery which um stemmed from the 1920s but went right through to the 1970s and my dad used to work for the east yorkshire motor services he was a driver and he drove for many years driving the East Yorkshire buses in and around Hull. And um, they, when the bus company went national, all the buses turned red into the national livery. And um, it was just at that point that my dad said, I don't want to work for a national company. I wanted to work for a, an independent company. So then he went coach driving anyway there was a period of time when the company then went reverted back to an independent company in the 1970s early 80s and in the late 1980s east yorkshire motor companies actually bought 19 uh, route masters from from london and all over the place and they had them painted in the old east yorkshire livery so <laughs> my dad was over the moon about this and he, in fact he dragged me through to hull with him and for a couple of days we just rode up and down on these rope masters in hull and um we got so much pleasure out of that and i actually applied to uh, drive them uh, but i was unsuccessful there were so many people that wanted to drive them in hull it was un unbelievable i can't think why Dave. so many people <laughs> anyway um, to cut a long story short, uh, my dad died uh, in tragic circumstances and I am doing one of the Harshet Route Masters in his memory. Um, and for to do to do it in his memory for in, in East Yorkshire colours. So that's where we're at. Fantastic so and yours is it looks black because of the photo but it's actually dark blue yeah it's actually dark blue yeah, yeah. it's um, it, on I can, photos, photos obviously never do something justice but that's right yeah it's, that, it's black it's not it, black I'm not sure no, it's indigo blue right indigo blue and um if i can just find my photos i can show you a quick photo perhaps on here 
Um, I don't know how well it'll come out because obviously it's uh, but yeah. uh, I don't know whether you can see that with the light balance or not. That's amazing, I love that color. But um, that's the LV structure color, and, yeah. Uh, so it's it's not actually that bus that I'm going to do. It's uh, WLT eight seven one is the bus I'm going to do. So Fleetwood says that he's fascinated by old engineering and how things work, but love to learn more. Yeah, I think it also helps the way that you explain things. It's not. It's not like a full-on proper high school engineering lesson. It's no more fun. Yeah, um, more fun. And then Peter Whitlock says every invention ever made was someone trying to make life easier for themselves. Yeah. You know. Yeah, that's right. Right. So if you guys don't object, we've been on for over two and a half hours. I'm going to close the show down. Yeah. Uh, so um thank you big big thank you to everyone for watching and making comments and the people who just watch and don't make comments that time um and then i will let dave close the show after i say a big big thank you to although adrian's on holiday um we really do appreciate his efforts with the scanning of the magazine and anyone that's had, added anything to the facebook group that we've then used for content i, I really appreciate all of you so i'll leave you to close the show then dave okay well thank you to fleetwood jay for joining us tonight because um you know he's had a, a pretty tough day today as fleetwood and um don't forget to click on his channel and have a look at his channel have a look at everybody else's channel on here as well because they are worth looking at and um you know we're here to give you guys some entertainment I've yeah. got I've got a free for all on Sunday this Sunday coming the thirtieth at eight o'clock if you're interested, um, pop along and see what's new. I've got some thank yous to say to a couple of people on here, and um, you know we've got some things to look at as well. So I'll try and make it interesting for an hour or so. You know I won't uh, try and. I'm other than that, I'm we'll see you there. What am I? Hang on, I think I might be able to catch your show. <laughs> I, I know I'm, I'm sure I'm working Sunday. Ah, brilliant. Sunday I'm working. Is so I will be able to catch your show live. Well, you can um, pop along if you want. I will. I will certainly try and pop in. Um, but I will, at the very, very least, I will watch it. Um, so I am now going to go to bed and watch uh, Chris Davies' show from last night. Yeah. So, oh, quick one before we go. I'm sorry. I apologize. I forgot. Lucas, 1945, is David Buckingham. Um, so he says, thank you, Penny, for the plug. I have eight bases finished. The rest will be done later. I'm just glad we can we can put some little bit of work your way because um, yeah. you deserve it. They're absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Absolutely. So, right then, guys, I'm off for the week. Uh, well, I'm not off for the whole week. I'm off for Root Master <laughs> until next week. Um, let me do a quick check. Tomorrow, shh, tomorrow, Thursday, Thursday, a world of Wayne every week, every fortnight, isn't it? Um, Friday is not Adrian Langley. Um, I'm thinking maybe of doing something myself um bear with me one sec i'm actually not going to do anything friday because i'm i'm going to do that as catch up sleep i think um saturday we've got issue two or issue i keep calling it issue episode two of the tractor so um obviously there was a lot of explaining to do but this is what we've done last week this is the differential so yeah. we will not be adding an awful lot to be honest with you so um if you don't know how to solder this is a little little um what's the word i'm looking for uh, a, a, lesson. a little sneak um yeah. solder irons ready and um, we'll be doing a bit of soldering um and there'll be a little bit of adding but mo primarily it'll be uh soldering um sunday is oh sunday sunday day so <laughs> And then 
hopefully we'll have a video from uh, Chris Campbelling on Monday because we didn't get one last week. And Chris, that hopefully Chris will get his. Oh, I'm sure he won't mind me telling you. Apparently there are delays with the Jaguar because they're out of stock. Mm. Uh, I know there was allegedly out of stock for um, pack two for me. Um, it's a bit of a shame, but um, you know, but we'll see if we can persuade him to do something next Tuesday. And then that brings us to next Wednesday, which is. 80. Da, da, da. So, yeah, I part of me is looking forward to it, part of me isn't. Um, some interesting looking bits in there, some more wires, a few screws, and some little windy handles. Yeah. Um, and a black bit that's also a red bit, and a heavy, a heavy red bit, which I assume that's metal. So that's all I'm going to tell you guys. Yeah. So take care. Oh, please check YouTube. Right. I don't know if I'm still streaming, but I've just had a message come up. We're having trouble streaming to your YouTube channel. Please right. check YouTube. So anyway, if it's gone, then obviously I'm talking to no one, but take care, everyone. If it's still on, have a wonderful evening. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.